Hey guys, welcome to Jurve Gaming. And in my last video, I told you guys that I didn't feel like playing hardcore mode of The Division 2. Well, I did. And here are my thoughts on the game mode. Alright, so in my last video, I told you guys about the following The Division 2 has. It has a really strong player base of people that really love the game. But these people also want something to do in game and that is something that The Division 2 was lacking. People cried for getting survival back in the game, but the developers debunked this and added something else. This something else was added in patch 6.1. They added a new beta mode for hardcore mode in The Division 2. It's unusual in some regards because the public test server on PC is where new stuff is tested before a proper release. But hardcore mode has been added to the main game in a beta mode. That also means that console players aren't left out in the cold and are free to take the permadeath game mode for a spin on the streets of DC. To play hardcore mode, you are asked to give up one character slot. Now, usually in games this isn't a big problem, but in the Division 2 where it's all about loot and gathering as much loot as possible, to get your builds ready, giving up a character slot might not be the best way to take this game mode to the next level. I would prefer to see it in an instance mode where you can just use your own character or add a specific character slot specifically made for hardcore mode that cannot be used in the regular game. This way people don't have to give up their character slots and can play hardcore mode if they want to. Besides giving up a character slot, there is nothing else you have to do to play the hardcore mode. You just load up the game and start playing. Keep in mind you don't have access to your stash, so it's like starting a brand new character in a new game. You can, however, for some projects, use stuff in your own stash from your main character. This might be a bug, uh, the game mode is still in beta, so it's still open for change. That is one of the reasons why I'm making this video. I feel hardcore mode is a good way to offer new competitive gameplay to the game, but I do feel that a lot of stuff needs to change before we can call it a separate game mode that is actually ready for the main game. So you made a new character, you logged into the game, what happens next? Well, you just get welcomed by the cinematic. The game is exactly like the regular game, only with permadeath. And this is where things stop for me. I did play hardcore mode for about 10 hours, and to be honest, I don't feel that it's ready for release. You just do the same missions that you did in the regular game, you get the same loot you get in the regular game, and you see the same cutscenes as you see in the regular game. That is it. There is nothing extra being offered in hardcore mode. The only thing you have is that if you die, you lose all your stuff. You have to delete your character and create a new one to start all over again. There is nothing done to make it more exciting. It's like leveling up an alt, only without the speed leveling part. I did notice that I play the game on a different way while playing hardcore mode. I decided to not go with the face tanking that I usually do, as it is a bigger risk of dying. If you die, like I said, you need to create a new character, and that is something you do not want to do. Currently I'm at level 14 and I haven't died once, I've only went down one time and I got saved by the revive hive. What they could do is take the revive hive out of the game to make it more exciting. But this might be too hardcore for some players. And that is kind of the issue we're looking at right now. How are you gonna make a permadeath game mode? exciting for everyone and fun to watch on Twitch. Because Twitch is, at the moment, the best way to promote your game. Now the question is, do I think hardcore mode can be good enough to save the player race, to save the game and keep the players interested in the game until the next title update drops? Yes, I do, but they will need to change some stuff in the game mode. 
Now, what would you need to add to the game to make it more interesting to keep players invested in hardcore? Because I can see on Twitch that the hardcore community has already left the game again and are playing the regular game. What they need to do is add some stuff to the game like they did in survival. Make stuff important, make the food you pick up, make that like a consumable, make the water that you pick up, make that like a consumable, add more weather effects that make it harder to see the enemies, uh, spawn in heavier enemies, harder enemies to kill. This way you can have players play the game like it's intended and get a real challenge out of it. Because if you play it safe, and this is a serious thing. If you play the game safe, take cover, don't face tank enemies, use medical skills, you are good to go. You will reach level 30 without any trouble. When you reach world tier 5, you can start farming loot. And when you start farming loot, you can create builds that are OP for the game mode and you are all done. The end game for hardcore mode would be the raid and as much people that have already finished the raid and are well known with the mechanics, I don't think that the raid will offer that much of a challenge. The only thing is that if the raid wipes, everybody loses their progress and has to start all over again. Now I understand that the game mode was made to frustrate players if they die and they did a good job on that and I do feel that the Division 2 has the opportunity to become the great game it was in the Division 1, getting back a lot of players that they lost in Division 2. But not with hardcore mode as it is right now. Step up, fix your game, maybe add something that will request players to head into the dark zone not just a regular mission but actually send them in there make the best loot available in the dark zone so you can have that pvp gameplay in hardcore mode as well this will make it way more intense i think that if i would enter the dark zone right now i would just get one shot or sniped by a player that is already level 30 in world tier 5 decked out with proper gear i don't see the fun in that i need something i can replay and dying and starting all over again isn't the way to do this ubisoft and massive entertainment need to think of what they want to do with hardcore i feel that the way it is right now that they just added the game mode to give the players something to do this is not the way to fix the content route that we're currently in we'll see what comes out of hardcore mode now if you would like to see me play hardcore mode you can do that i stream every tuesday and thursday on twitch at 8 pm central european time Please let me know what you would like to see in this game or what would you like to see added or removed. Let me know in the comments below and make sure to follow and subscribe to the channel as I'll be putting out more videos every single week. I want to thank you guys for watching and have a great week.